engine optimization for small or micro and small business. Uh, in this section, I'm going to talk about meta tags and tags in general and how they uh, affect search engine optimization and how to use them. So obviously, um, very limited information because it's a great big, huge, complex topic and it really depends on uh, what business you're in. So, meta tags. Uh, they're embedded information, which only search engines see. These include page titles, descriptions, images, image tags, etc. A whole bunch of information that um, you, your visitors or you or your visitors are not privy to. They're really meant for search engines. They are used by search engines to classify the type of information your page may have and to direct match searches to your pages. That's the basis of page ranking. So, meta tags are used in page ranking like uh, other search engine optimization methodologies but this is well known because as everybody knows if you have a web page you can put a meta tag description up in your HTML uh, outside of the body of your page to help um, classify your page. The reason we use meta tags and data sets really is to make it efficient for the search engine to search through your page. Uh, one of the things that you do get marked on for your pages is efficiency in terms of how fast your page gets crawled, how fast, we'll talk about crawl, crawlers later in part four I think, and um, it, it's important that they match with the kind of uh, business that you're running. If you're only ever going to do your description and your title page and your meta tags, then make sure you have them on every single page and that they are optimized for your every single page. Don't just put the blanket ones on every single page. Make sure you add uh, something specific to the content in that specific page as well as your general information meta tags or meta description excuse me is limited excuse me so generally meta tags are limited to about 160 characters i think um so they're limited. You can you can put in as many as you like, but the search engine search search engines will only read a certain amount, um, and they do go in order. Uh, the most they will go in order of the words that you put in your meta tags. So if uh, the word your name is first, then you'll get matched for your name first. Um, the order that you should put them in. Is that if your service is based on your name, you should put your name in, then what you, your function is, and what your service is, and then what your product is. If you have just a um, product page, then really each product should go in what the, the description of each product should go in the meta tags of that page. One way to find out um, how well your meta tags are working is to just go search in the search engine. Um, give it some time. When first people talk about search engine optimization, they think it's going to happen overnight. No, it takes about three months, sometimes six, depending on what information you've got and how well your page is uh, optimized before you'll get uh, results. Even your name and things like that should be pretty obvious. But we're in, we're, you're in competition for keywords with other like Type, like businesses then it will take a bit longer for the search engine to determine how relevant you are particularly if you're not as new uh, but there are things you can do about that one of the other things that people put inside the html is data sets they're embedded information such as data schemas or structures which generally add to the formatting and display of information to make it easier for your content to be found and displayed so for instance if somebody saying to you, somebody searches for, knows you, knows your company, or because remember you're not just directing traffic, you're trying to give people information 
that they need about you as a business. So they may know you as a business already. People don't just go and search for, oh, I want for a product or a service. They go and search for specific things about your business. They might say, uh, show me all the businesses in Adelaide or whatever your suburb is or country even. Generally, the, the more specific, um, the better. The more specific the search, the better it is for the return. So people generally know this. So you may, one thing that Google particularly lets you do is insert data sets, which are specific types of information inside your HTML, which uh, tells Google how to format the information when it displays it to the user. For instance, if somebody's typing for a phone number for Natalia Cable, if you put data sets inside your HTML, uh, particularly schema, they're called schemas that define, it's a complicated topic and there's a lot of them around, but essentially if you've ever seen a search engine result that shows the company name and then it shows only contact and services and has a whole variety, like about six different individual sections that you can click on that belong to that website, well that's usually data sets or schema embedded into the HTML content, which tells the search engine, hey, this is my contact information, this is my services, this is, the, this is the industry that I work in, can you please arrange this information for me to make it easier for people to not just find my main page, but find a specific thing about my business. I, I, if you do want to get into the HTML and you do have some idea about that and you do want to get into data sets, I encourage you to do that. It's a very good way to make your site look more professional uh, and it's a good way, it also gives you higher page ranking because it's easier for the search engine. Anything you make, anything that to make the search engine easier to find the information about you or about your services is going to give you a thumbs up on the uh, search engine uh, page ranking system. So, so yeah, they help to improve your score. Uh, by um, giving engines the confidence that the, re the search results they're returning are indeed what the people are looking for. And that's of utmost importance to search engines. That's the number one thing that search engines, are, all search engines uh, uh, aspire to do is return relevant content. And the reason for that is that if you have a look at most search engine returns, uh, there's millions, obviously, everybody sees that. But if you've ever looked like at a page, at page 100, you'll find that the relevancy just goes down. There's nothing to do with anything. It just Then it just comes down to strict just keyword searches. So what you're trying to do is come up on the first page, which is about first 10 results, which is a tough place to be because most people don't look beyond the first two pages usually. Most people will give the second page a go if it looks like they're going to, you know, uh, get closer to what they're looking for. Otherwise, people will just go and type in a new search. So, uh, if you want to check your score, I've got a website up there. It's called smallseotools.com. Uh, check your score. Uh, you'll find that it'll return a whole bunch of things that um, the uh, search engine looks for that you might not be aware of. Everything from you know, having your meta description in there to uh, how you formatted your information, whether you've got, uh, if, whether you meet all of the criteria that would make it easy for the search engine to uh, crawl your uh, page, that is, find all the relevant information for it to return. So, that's really it for meta tags and data sets. It's very complicated because it really comes down to understanding keywords in your industry and that your competitors are using, um, especially if you're paying for. Uh, you can use keyword. Um, there are some function. There are some websites that give you keyword um, sort of. Uh, you know. Uh, ideas but um try to be as original as you can with your keywords uh, because that's the that's how you get higher up on the search engine results by distinguishing yourself from your competitors really so that's it 
uh, for meta tags and data sets. If you want to go on to part three, uh, I'm not even sure what that is now, but um, 